Hello, everybody. This is Rio. Uh, lighting looks a little bit weird. It's uh, 623 and it's not quite dark yet, <clears throat> but the sun's gone down. And I'm in this little room, and without my light, it's very dark. <laughs> so I have my headlamp shining on me so you can see me. Um, lot going on today. It rained most of the day. It was on and off. Sometimes it poured. Um, but uh, I didn't really do a whole lot. I spent a lot of time on the computer today, kind of getting caught up on emails because it was down all day yesterday. And uh, um, we had some, we had a meeting for just Pangayan people about a journey that we're all going to take together very soon, an ayahuasca journey. And I am very much looking forward to this. Uh, ayahuasca has been recommended to me um, based on my desire to open my heart more, become more unconditionally loving. and. Uh, we are all participating in this journey as a collective for a common spiritual purpose, and that is to um, be uh, feel more connected to each other, more connected to the earth, um, to really gel our uh, feeling as a family, and. Uh, I feel like um, there's very good intention around this journey that we are all going to partake in, and um, uh, I'm very excited about it. So that has shifted our schedule somewhat. Um, we went to Mauna Kea yesterday. I swam in the warm ponds at sea level in the morning and then in the afternoon at like 2.30 I was at the top of Mauna Kea at 13,759 feet and I did fine. I didn't get any uh, altitude sickness at all. Um, so we had yesterday off and of course Saturday and Sunday we don't work and now we're going to have Monday off so we're going to have like a 4 day weekend. So we're going to be working our asses off on Tuesday to, to make up for what we have not done Friday and Monday. So tomorrow we have some galangal that we have to dig up. Galangal is a root that uh, we sell to a local Thai restaurant and they use it in their cooking. It's very close to... Uh, ginger I'm told but I haven't tried it. it smells good I like the way it smells <clears throat> but it's a lot of work cleaning that stuff so we're all gonna chip in to do that tomorrow so I probably uh, will be postponing my trip or just canceling my trip to the beach so I'm really hoping that it rains tomorrow <laughs> so that I don't feel bad about not being at the beach um, I am uh, have some concerns. Um, these videos are that I'm creating are pretty much for my friends and family, and I know that they're watching because uh, I've spoken to a few of them. I got on Skype for the first time today and talked to my daughter, and I just talked to my good friend Alicia, who's over in South Korea. Hey, Alicia. <laughs> And uh, so that's exciting. Um, but I know there's other people watching as well. And um, so I, while I am being honest, I also must be um, circumspect in uh, telling my stories and um, keeping integrity and respect for other people that I may talk about, which I feel like I have done. And uh, 
Um, I don't want to worry any of my friends or family um, talking about what I'm doing or what I might do or what I have done. Uh, I'm, I'm not here for anyone except myself. I came here for many reasons. Um, one of which was to continue my healing. Um, another was to get off the merry-go-round and remove myself from the mainstream, which I have done. So when the shit hits the fan, I won't be there. Um, I came here to become more healthy. And uh, I am doing that. I, I have more energy than I've ever had, eating uh, mostly raw food. Um, I also came here to learn how to live in community. Um, as most of you know, the people who know me, I've spent a lot of time in Boulder by myself. Been through some relationships um, which had their own purpose. And after the last one, about five years ago now, I decided that um, I needed space and time to myself to create a much needed relationship with myself and uh, I feel I have done that and now I open myself to um, intimate relationship um, not just with the people that I have come to live with here, but also um, the one-on-one -on -one relationship that I desire with um, with a man. And um, so that's another reason why I've come here. I really felt drawn to be here to connect with someone. Um, anyway, it is so easy to uh, lose track of time doing these videos and I just want you all to know that I am really happy regardless of what I might look like <laughs> uh, I think it's been probably a week since I've had a shower <laughs> but I don't care I have nobody here to impress I don't stink I'm eating really good like I found that uh, I just stopped caring about what I look like. Uh, I know people here accept me, and there's quite a few people who don't shower every day. There are a few who do shower every day, and that's fine. Um, but uh, I've, I've really just uh, stopped caring about uh, some of the things that I feel like don't matter, really. Um, Anyway, I'll make another video about some of the oddities that I, that I, that I, or at least maybe things that are different here than on the mainland as far as um, what kind of changes, physical changes I've gone through and um, uh, some of my how some of my thought processes have changed. So anyway, I love you all. I wish you the best. Please don't worry about me. Barb, I know you're watching. And I hope my email didn't sound too harsh to you. Um, I, I'm just done with the negativity. I'm done. I don't want it in my life and I'm not going to accept it from any of my friends. Um, if you can't be supportive, then just don't write at all. Um, and um, that's all I've got to say about that. So, aloha, Mwah. big hug and kiss from the big island of Hawaii. Bye.